You're not gonna wanna miss this video because I have a free gift for you. Lincoln Learning Solutions is essentially a library of curriculum that you can integrate easily into Canvas. Stay tuned on how you can get that free trial. And here we go, here's the demo of Lincoln Learning Solutions. Welcome to Lincoln Learning Solutions. My name is Kathy Sermonera, and I am here to present uh, what we have to offer. Lincoln Learning Solutions is a early kindergarten through 12th grade digital curriculum provider. And we have been in this space for about 20 years. Uh, we're a nonprofit, and uh, we're excited to be here at InstructureCon because it's our first time our content can actually go into the campus LMS. So we're excited to kind of meet and show our product off. Um, what I'm going to show to you today is the Lincoln Content Bank. The Lincoln Content Bank is something we're very excited about because it is an LMS add-on tool. So it's going to just add right into the Canvas um, LMS and you can plug it right in. It, we have access to over 110,000 learning objects. So as a teacher, you can pull those directly into your course. You can build a lesson um, and you have those resources at your fingertips. So you can get the content that your students need. Yay! I think this like app integration is really cool. It's one of the first, yeah, yeah first K twelve apps. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get to take a really cool look at it. So Lincoln Learning Solutions partnered with AWS to really make this search tool very powerful. So what you can do is just it's going to uh, be located right here in the three dots area. You can click on the Lincoln Content Bank, and the search engine is going to load. What you'll find is that you can search by keyword, you can search by standard, you can search by learning objective. And again, you'll have access to over 110,000 learning objects. So these are these bite-sized pieces of content that you are the building blocks for um, our lessons. So I might uh, be working with uh, addition, maybe two-digit two addition. And I'm going to type in uh, that keyword. And we're going to see what populates. What I love most is that just from a glance, I can see that um, the title of the, the learning objective, the learning objective there, the course that, the, that it belongs to, what grade level it might be appropriate for. And as you can see here, we have a lot of different learning objects. Our courses, we like to call it the it factor. Um, so we have a lot of different its and practice it would be practice problems. A show it would be a show it uh, where a student will demonstrate their understanding of that learning objective. We also have read it, which are kind of that content piece that will be that instructional text that kind of explains a new concept. So let's take a look at that read it. So I can preview the read it there and you'll see that the objective is clearly lit loaded. Um, this has a little, did you know, it's an interactivity here for the student to kind of get their, get their thoughts going. Um, you'll see uh, some engagement here for the students. So the student can go ahead and uh, you know, cycle through some of these different charts uh, with some text there below. You'll also see some examples, and I love how the content just kind of really expands to, to create that interactivity for the student. So as the teacher, I might think, yes, this is a great little lesson or a great little read it that I would like to include in my lesson after previewing it. So all I have to do, what I like is I'm going to save it to my collection you'll see that it's added right here. One thing, one feature that's really important is that if you add it to your collection, you can see more like this. So I'll click on see more like this, and I'm going to find learning objects that are similar to that one I just selected. So we have a show it, so I might save that to my collection. And we also have that show it answer key. I'm gonna save it to my collection because I, I think it'd be helpful. We have a teach it, that's very similar. That's gonna be a video, as you can see with that little icon there. I will save that to my, or add that to my, or save that to my collection there. And then maybe another practice it, which will be some practice problems. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a look at my collection. And here's where a lot of the other magic can happen. What I can do with this is I have our read it, but maybe I want to just reorganize the lesson a bit and start with the teach it, you know, just to really start with the video maybe at first to engage my lesson or my learners. 
and I have the video first, I'll read it. I maybe don't wanna have to show it, which is the way that the student's gonna demonstrate their understanding. I might put that towards the end, and I might wanna bring a practice it up more towards the top. So as you can see, I'm really organizing my lesson here. There we go, right after the read it. I'm organizing my lesson so that it will fit right into my course. And all I have to do is add all of the objects to my course, and you'll see that I'll have a complete lesson built uh, for the students. And it's on content that I feel would be appropriate for the student. And so when it's, so this is all, when you say adds to the course, yes. it adds to and like creates a module. Correct, yes, creates Very a module, cool. yes. Now, what I could do as well, if I already had a module prepared, I also have the uh, tool that I can just add di directly, can directly into, a, into module. a module as well. So you can do that as well. So if you already have content of your own that you absolutely love, but maybe you're just looking for a game of some sorts, you can just go ahead and we have learning objects called Play It that you can add directly into, um, into your yeah. course as well. So um, our content is aligned to the national standards. So you'll see content that's aligned to the Common Core Standards, uh, the Next Gen for Science, and the C3 Framework for Social Studies. Uh, and again, all of these learning objects are standalone uh, autonomous blocks of content. So they're not tagged or they're not labeled like second grade. So you really can pull content in that meets a student where they are. Um, so we hope that this tool is helpful for, for educators um, to get that piece of content that, that might just add to their class, add some reinforcement uh, for student learning. You could, I could see this being used for tutoring. So a variety of use cases. Yeah, and so where can teachers, you said, oh, and the best part, you get three months oh, yeah. for so, free. So uh, for our instructor con this year, we are offering three months for free trial, um, really just to test out the product to see if, you, if this is something that would be helpful for you. And if you are interested in learning more, you can visit us at Lincoln Learning Solutions um, and we would be able to you know, get you a free trial. My name is Kathy Servinera and I'm a solution specialist, so feel free to reach out and schedule a demo with me. Yay, thank yeah. you. Thanks. If you are interested in learning more information about Lincoln Learning Solutions, everything you need to know and to also access that free three month trial is in the description of this video. If you're excited about this application, I would absolutely love and appreciate it if you would like this video. Stay tuned, of course, for more Canvas tips and tricks. Bye guys.